Introduction In our earlier classes, we have studied about corpuscular model of light and Snell's law. They both explained the laws of reflection and refraction of light at an interface. The corpuscular model predicted that if the ray of light on refraction bends towards the normal, then the speed of light would be greater in the second medium. But in 1678, the Dutch physicist Christian Huygens put forward the wave theory of light. We will discuss this wave model of light in this chapter. It predicted that on refraction, if the wave bends towards the normal, then the speed of light would be less in the second medium. This is in contradiction to the prediction made by using the corpuscular model of light. Huygen model was not readily accepted primarily because of Newton's authority and also because according to Newton, light could travel through vacuum and it was felt that a wave would always require a medium to propagate from one point to the other. This confusion between corpuscular model of light and Huygens principle was cleared when Thomas Young performed his famous interference experiment in 1801. It was firmly established that light is indeed a wave phenomenon. Now the wave theory seemed to be very well established. The only major difficulty was that since it was thought that a wave required a medium for its propagation, how could light waves propagate through vacuum? This was explained when Maxwell put forward his famous electromagnetic theory of light. Maxwell had developed a set of equations describing the laws of electricity and magnetism and using these equations he derived what is known as the wave equation from which he predicted the existence of electromagnetic waves. In this chapter, we will first discuss the original formulation of the Huygens principle and derive the laws of reflection and refraction.